DJ Event Planner will change the way you manage and run your business. Streamline all of your procedures and software into one easy-to-manage system. DJ Event Planner, the ultimate online planning tool. So I've got a relatively new Twitter account, just a few months old. Um, it's at Charts Archive. And I just put a post on or two on there a day. And anyway, my, my first famous follower, my first famous follower was Eric Carmen. So as a thank you to him, today's show will count down his highest charting songs, both as a solo artist and as a member of the Raspberries. So let's start that chart. <laughs> The song at number 10 on our list of Eric Carmen's highest charting songs is Sunrise. Now this was the third single from his debut solo album and the first track on the album. We'll hear the other two hits later. Now this one peaked at number 34. Carmen said he likes the intro of the song almost better than anything else on the album. When writing it, apparently his fingers slipped off a key and the mistake was better than his original intention. <laughs> The song at number nine on our list is She Did It. Now this was the lead single from Carmen's album, Boats Against the Current. And he said it's his favorite album and was crushed when it didn't perform better commercially. She Did It peaked at number 23 and featured contributions by Burton Cummings, Andrew Gold, and Toto's drummer, Jeff Porcaro. I hope I said that name right. Porcaro, I don't know. You let me know in the comments which is the right one. Um, a cover version of this song by Michael Damien peaked at number 69 in 1981. Coming in at number 8 on our list of Eric Carmen's highest charting songs is Change of Heart. Now, Change of Heart was the lead single and title track from Carmen's third solo album. The album also contains Carmen's version of Hey Dini, a top 10 song for Sean Cassidy that he wrote. The Change of Heart album is considered a little more sugary, and Carmen has said it might be his least favorite album, partly because he was still so bummed about the previous album's Laugh at Black Love success. Change of Heart peaked at number 19. <laughs> at number 7 on our list of Eric Carmen's highest charting songs is our first entry by a Raspberry song, Overnight Sensation Hit Record. This Raspberry song was the first release from their fourth and final album, Starting Over. Speaking at number 18, it was the band's last charting song. John Lennon supposedly was present for the recording of the song and did some uncredited production work. The song has a spot in the middle where the stereo goes away and it sounds like you're listening to a transistor radio. And the song at number six on our list is I Wanna Be With You. Now this was the first single from the Raspberry's second album, Fresh. Speaking at number 16, it was the second highest charting single by the band. Apparently while recording the first album, Todd Rundgren was recording at the same time and sort of borrowed some ideas from them for his record. Carmen took a little revenge, you might say, and borrowed Rundgren's song, Couldn't I Just Tell You, for the guitar lick at the beginning of this song. Welcome back to the Music Charts Archive show here on DJN TV, where this week we are counting down the top 10 highest charting songs by Mr. Eric Carmen. So let's get back to it. At number five on our list is Never Gonna Fall In Love Again. Now the second single from Carmen's debut album, Never Gonna Fall In Love Again peaked at number 11 and went to number one on the Easy Listening chart. It was also a number one hit in Canada. The melody for this song is based on Symphony No. 2 by Russian composer Sergei Rachmaninoff. Carmen said in an interview, one of the reasons he wrote the song was to expose great classical melodies to a new generation. 
The song at number four on our list of Eric Carmen's highest charting songs is Go All The Way. Now, Go All The Way peaked at number five and was the biggest hit for the Raspberries and was their only gold record. The song was pretty risque for the time and was actually supposedly banned by the BBC. And I don't know if it's true or not, but repeating the phrase, come on, seems to be a nod towards the Beatles song, Please Please Me. Coming in at number three on our list, Hungry Eyes. Now a hit from the movie Dirty Dancing that peaked at number four. This is a rare Eric Carmen hit that did not that he did not have a hand in writing. I never knew until now that Hungry Eyes was actually first recorded by Frankie and the Knockouts and was co-written by Frankie, who also co-wrote I've Had the Time of My Life, also from Dirty Dancing. When listening to a demo of this song, Carmen supposedly described it as air supply with John Bonham on drums. <laughs> At number two on our list of Eric Carmen's highest charting songs is Make Me Lose Control. Now, Make Me Lose Control did not appear on a studio album, but was included on his 1988 Best of Eric Carmen Greatest Hits collection. It peaked at number three and became his second number one adult contemporary chart hit. This was his last song to reach the top 40. The song references old time music, specifically songs um, Uptown, Stand By Me, Be My Baby, and Back In My Arms Again. And at number one on our list of Eric Carmen's highest charting songs is All By Myself. Now, Carmen's first solo hit was also his biggest hit, hitting number two. It was kept out of the number one spot by the songs Love Machine by The Miracles, and December 1963, Oh What a Night by The Four Seasons. This was another song using the classical music of Rachmaninoff. Carmen apparently had thought the music was in public domain, but it was still protected outside the US. So the Rachmaninoff estate received a portion of the royalties from this song, as well as Never Gonna Fall In Love Again. Celine Dion also had a top 10 hit with her version of the song which reached number four in 1997. So those were the 10 highest charting singles for Eric Carmen. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope Mr. Carmen is the first of many more Twitter followers at, at Charts Archive. Also, I have a Facebook page at Music Charts Archive. Uh, let me know in the comments which Eric Carmen songs are your favorites. I remember my uncle introducing me to Raspberry's music a long time ago, and I remember Change of Heart was actually one of the first 45s in my collection when I started buying 45s. This has been Dan Cheney, and be sure to join us again next time for another Music Charts Archive show right here on DJN TV.